Hello everybody and welcome to part 8 of Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Once again, we find ourselves at the drive-in theatre and we already know we need to go and get the generator building key from, um, from the building where Serena is and where a manuscript page is, apparently. So let's go over there. Ugh. Serena's probably out of her mind again. But I'm gonna need that key so I can get the power back on. Let's read this manuscript page to start with. This one is The Dangers of Creation. <laughs> I know all about it. To change the world, you must craft a blueprint for the new reality. Any work of art will do, as long as it's a genuine act of creation. That's what the energies of the dark place respond to. The results may be subtle and perplexing, or far-ranging and momentous. My area of expertise, the written word, gives much more precise results than music or interpretive dance would, for instance. But words can be extremely dangerous. What you define may become reality. But so can that which you imply, even if you don't realize you're doing so. That's kind of interesting. Now I'm imagining a, a game where Alan Wake isn't a writer, but he's some sort of composer or musician, and we have to find music sheets or something, or compositions, and they would affect the tone of the game or something. That would be kind of cool, actually. Uh, anyway, let's go and see Serena again. You again? I'm really just here to get the keys so I can get the power back on. You want to hold me down? Here we go again. It's okay. I know you like that. Yeah, I'll just grab the keys. <laughs> yeah. I could be like your wife. Little wifey. Waiting at home for hubby. Or you could be the mailman. Or the neighbor. Maybe later. I'm already married to someone who isn't crazy, thanks. <sighs> I'm just gonna go and get the power back on. Ouch. <laughs> Look, I may or may not be back. I have the access code to the booth already, so once the power is on... You should totally come see me. We could have fun. You know. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. For the time being, I'll just collect the, uh, the building key. You should sit down or something. Try to stay calm. I don't want to be calm. I want to be nasty. I want to be nasty with you. If only I wasn't already married. Oh yeah, the radio. I was about to do the weather, but uh, I see we have a caller. Uh, hey, you're on the air with Eddie. What's up? Hey, Eddie, it's Ricky. You talked about fate before. You think about that a lot? Not a lot, to be honest, but uh, I take it you do. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Any conclusions you'd care to share, uh, Ricky? Well, we've got free will, right? That's in the Bible and everything. Yeah, right, sure. So free will, right? Am I right? I mean, if we can do what we want, how can there be fate? I mean, you don't know what's going to happen next, so there's no fate. There's just people doing stuff. Well, I don't know, Ricky. I don't suppose you have considered the possibility that we're all here in the service of a greater purpose. Incomprehensible to us. And that what we <laughs> it's the narrator. Is nothing more than the move of a pawn on some cosmic chessboard. Limited in scope, subject to the whims of unseen players, existing only for their entertainment. Or perhaps we're just a twisted reflection of actual events that can happen elsewhere. Could it be that such is life in Night Spring? <laughs> just like. Um, dude, what? <laughs> Food for thought. <laughs> just like an opening monologue for Night Springs. That was pretty cool, actually. Very cool. The conversations, well, that conversation right there and the one we had previously with Dr. Meadows, it's like we're trying to deconstruct what it means to be human, what it means to be a character in a game, in a story. Uh, it's pretty cool, actually. This, this is pretty deep stuff. Anyway, let's go, uh, let's go kill some bad guys, right? Oh, it's him. It, ah, I thought it was worth a shot. Okay. This is a powerful gun. It really is. Now, let's see. How many for you, big boy? One or two? Two, I think. <laughs> nice flip. Not bad. I'll probably give you a score of 5.8. Okay. So, let's have a look. That one, that was the sawn-off shotgun. I want to say it was 30 or 40 or something like that. Let me just have a little look. It's 30. And I don't have enough manuscript pages quite yet. Bit of a shame. Although, would the Sawn-Off be better than this? 
I don't know. Or maybe the Sawn-Off would take take the place of the uh, the Magnum. There's a thought. Anyway, yep. We're just heading west, down the hill again. Here we go again. Okay. What, just the one guy? Oh no, here come the flock. Right, let's deal with our feathered friends to start with, shall we? God damn, this is a good gun. And you as well? Yeah. Oh, hang on. One, two, and three, you're dead. One, two, and three, you're dead. Fantastic, and it's just you. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, look at that damage. Ooh. <laughs> I kind of forgot how much damage they can do just by, like, rugby tackling you or uh, trying to football tackle you, basically. I'm actually going to use that light as a checkpoint while I'm watching the TV, I suppose. Is he going to be dancing again? I kind of hope so. <laughs> it was fun last time. Oh, who's that? I want to talk about Alice. Just look at her. She's really beautiful, isn't she? Your wife. Well, our wife, really. <laughs> Just my wife soon. Not if I have anything to do with it. Don't worry. I'm not going to treat her like the others. She's special. If I wanted her dead, she would be. I've been around for a while now. <sighs> So talented. You haven't seen her new work, of course. Oh, it takes my breath away. Really, she's that good. She's a photographer, right? Did you know that I've got a wedding ring, too? We're that similar. She's seen me a couple times, you know. I've let her catch glimpses. She thinks she's imagining things, of course. She thinks you're dead. It might as well be. I mean, even if you manage to keep surviving, you'll be in my trap forever. So I'll go to her. It'll be an amazing moment. Oh my god. You're alive! <laughs> I'll be the good, loving husband for as long as I can stand it. She'll love it. And then, one day, somehow, it'll happen. Maybe I'll slip up, she spots something, or maybe she just starts running her mouth. And then, I'll do it. It's gonna be sweet. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay. Alright. My darling wife. We need to deal with this psycho. We really do. Alright, that's it. Okay, now let's see. So we've got some more flare gun ammo. I suppose the flare gun ammo we're going to need to use against those towers that rise up, right? If it's going to... well, if that's going to happen again, I would presume so. Uh, but before all of that, we need to restore the power so we can get the uh, projection going and everything like that, so... Sure. So, over here, this way... Down there, there's another case. There is another case, what was that? I want to say it was some sort of rifle? I've got- oh. Here we go. Like a little hamster in a wheel. Go ahead and keep running for all the good it'll do. One hell of an exciting wheel, honestly. Okay, another one. Another one bites the dust, okie dokie. And another one. And they just, whoa, they just keep coming. And yes, they still occasionally ambush me. <laughs> that one was nearly successful, holy hell. Ah. Oh, alright. Still pretty good. Is that it? Okay, I'm kind of running out of ammo for my Magnum now. Maybe I should have been using this, I don't know. It's just not quick enough to deal with those fast ones, I don't think. But let's see, what is this? It is... It is a rifle, it's, a, it's an assault rifle, and I can open it. <laughs> and ride it up. Okay. 
Well, let's give it a go. If I don't like it, I guess I can just return and, and pick this up, can't I? So, no worries. And there we are. Yeah, some ammo. That's something I desperately need right now. Okay, so... 75 bullets? Is, is that the max? Is that all we can handle, or...? Not sure. I think I saw a question mark. I did. Let's go this way, instead of going right this time. Oh, there's a couple. Okay. Well, let's deal with this one first. Uh, if, if I can actually run. There we are. It is survival in the dark place. The dark place is utterly hostile to human life. It eats at your mind, wants you to succumb to madness. Your own thoughts can turn against you. Every shadow conceals a threat that attacks at the slightest sign of weakness. You're under endless assault. Every day is a struggle for survival. But I've learned to take care of myself. I focus on Alice, our life together, my need to be with her. That takes me a long way in the dark place. As long as I have my gun and the flashlight. Yes, they're the sort of key ingredients to staying alive. Without a gun or a flashlight, you'd be fucked several times over. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm just so glad that batteries keep appearing in this place, really, and, and more ammo. Some of the uh, some of the loopholes he wrote in, I suppose. Okay. Yep, there's, I think, another manuscript page inside as well, so let's pop in and have another read. Ah. The cobwebs that were missing from the observatory have turned up here this time. Bloody spiders, eh? Bloody spiders. Serena. For Serena Valdivia, burning the midnight oil was more of an exception than a rule. A procrastinator and a perfectionist, she often worked when she wouldn't be disturbed. Tonight was especially important. The film festival would open tomorrow, and there was still so much to sort out. It wasn't that the work hadn't been done. She just didn't feel like she had completely mastered everything yet. Huh. Unfortunately, Mr. Scratch took advantage of her. Twice now. <laughs> Shame. Right. I'm not liking the sounds that I'm hearing, you know. It's after seeing the cobwebs, I'm a little bit tense now. I don't have a problem with spiders. I just have a problem with the spiders in this game doing damage to me. I suppose I've got a good weapon to deal with them. Right. Oh yeah, this is like a puzzle or something, right? It's... I have to look out for the green lights. Okay, just the one in the middle? I think? Yep, simple as that. Not really too much of a puzzle. Aha! Alright, well. Why not? Let's try out the assault rifle on these guys. Well. Can't really test how powerful it is. It seems to be taking care of them. Any more? Yep, there's one over there. So it's uh, it's semi, it's not burst, so I'm not wasting ammo for no reason, it seems. Pretty nice. Okay. Was that it? Really? This is nightmare difficulty, right? <laughs> it must be because of the, uh, the damage I took when that guy charged me. This seems a little easy, that's all. I don't know why. I, I'm just tempting something really bad to happen to me. I haven't actually died yet. I, it's just a matter of time, though, isn't it? Let's be honest. The flashbang. Okay. We are pretty well equipped right now. Uh, so let's see. Let's just stand here. Probably get ambushed from all sides. Oh, bloody hell. Go, go, go. Now, let's see. Do we have to go left or, or go right this time? Oh, let's... Go left, I think. Uh, oh god. No. No, 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 no. Right, right, right. Let's take care of them like that. Okay. You can always tell when you've killed the last one because it goes into slow motion. Like that. So I'm assuming there's no more around. It is a bit of a giveaway. It's a bit of a tell that you can sort of relax for a bit. There we go. Uh, this is pretty good. Again, like the hunting rifle, accurate. Obviously, it fires a lot faster. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Kind of hard to tell. I want to fire this on a proper enemy and see what it does to them. Or I, I kind of want to put it on auto mode and just hold the uh, left mouse button down and see what happens. 
Should we save? Or well, we just got a checkpoint there, so no worries. Okay, so back up here. If you die, you lose. If you quit, you lose. If you make it to the end of the loop, you still lose. But if we rewrite reality, we might win. So. Okay. Okay, that's that's kind of badass. Um, I don't know if it's doing all that much damage. Shit, dude! Oh my god! I I dare not think how. Uh, oh my god! All the damage that would have done. I don't know. Okay, it does a fair amount of damage. I think I'm I'm still kind of preferring the uh, the other one. Honestly. Yeah, I think I'd still prefer the uh, the hunting rifle. I kind of know where I stand with that thing. And look at all the ammo I've just wasted, you know? Yeah, it's good. It's just not quite as good as the hunting rifle, in my opinion. And uh, you know what? I'm going to use that light this time. I am going to get some health back. And a checkpoint, too. Whew! Good thing I left it, really. <sighs> I've nearly died twice now. Well, I've, I've nearly died like three or four times, really, in Nightmare like, Difficulty mode. And I keep wanting it to be a little more difficult, and I don't know why, because the moment I get hit is the moment I nearly die, so... I'm really, I'm dicing with death all the time. Anyway, back to this. Yeah. I'm sure many of you will disagree with my choice to leave the assault rifle behind. Perhaps the assault rifle is better. I don't know, though. It, it doesn't seem to be, to me. It doesn't really fit my playstyle all that well. Perhaps the sawn off or the combat shotgun would be a better replacement, though. I don't know. So we, we still need to find uh, manuscript pages, if possible. Okay. Uh, oh, there was one behind me, I think. Oh, we're doing this already, are we? Okay. So there's no real need to go back to Serena. Uh, let's see. There it is. Yep. Just underneath the screen. Right. Uh, this isn't really the time to read, but eh, why not? The doppelganger. It's obvious that for all his power, Mr. S is an agent of another greater being. The dark place he came from is full of terrible alien intelligences, dark presences, and none of them should be let loose in our world. He serves one of them. He'll open the way for them if I don't stop him. But he'll do more. He'll take over my life. He already has my face. He already uses my name. He'll become Alan Wake in every way imaginable and corrupt everything. Unless I can stop him. Well, we're doing what we need to do, I think. But I think we just have to do it a few more times to get it right. Alright. Uh, Might be a little bit overkill, actually, so... Let's see. Tell you what, put a flare down. Keep him away. Another one bites the dust. Okay. You next. One and two. And you. Are you a fast one? Apparently so. Only takes the one bullet. And the slow-mo signifies... I've dealt with them. Right, let's go get some more ammo. And then let's destroy the dark fountains. Probably like I did last time, using the flare gun. I've been saving the ammo for it for a reason. So... Uh, two on this side, one on the other, like it was last time. Is that right? There's one. Alright. Let's give it a go. Yeah? Perfect. So, yeah, just like last time, it destroys all the, the Taken that come from it as well. Okay, let's go for number two. Yeah, it's it's definitely worthwhile keeping hold of the flare gun ammunition just to deal with these things, I think. Yeah, it helps burn it away. Oh, that last one, though. Too far away, perhaps. Nope, got it, just about. Maybe I didn't place the, the flare in the proper place, I don't know. Just one more to go, and I think that's on the other side of the building. Lots of ammo all over the place. I don't know if we have to pick any of it up, really, because, you know, we're kind of fully equipped. If there's the, if there's any more flare gun ammo, though, or flares... Flashbangs, maybe? That'll come in useful. Nope. Right. Okay. I want to make sure I kind of get this one. Don't hit the guy like I did last time. Stay there, stay there. Got it! So much easier with the flare gun. Okay. 
And uh, yeah, of course, I already know the code, so again, I don't need to go back to Serena. She can wait up there for me until next time, because I don't think this is going to work. The Champion of Light knows that the time itself is about to end. At least for him. He can feel the dead end rushing towards him. But there is time to act. Incomplete or not, he has the weapon. I don't have the whole thing. But maybe it's enough. So there's two more lines of information. So again, we need to deal with the clock and we need to deal with the, the calendar. So it needs to be like that, yeah. Like two in the morning. And then this, I think, was August? Something like that, July or August? August, yep. Um, there was a film noir poster visible and a spotlight illuminated the red fire extinguisher. Red fire extinguisher. Oh, is this, the, this might be the poster. Flip it, yeah. That's it, a gift of thorns. Alex Casey, of course it's Alex Casey. Oh, and there it is. There's the fire extinguisher, and that's the light. That's it. Okay. But it's still not enough information. Yeah, we're, we're going to be coming back again, aren't we? <laughs> You're trying to be cute, aren't you? What are you up to? It's a waste of time, buddy. You should just lie down and die. Let me take over. This is the only thing you've got coming to you. From here to eternity. No matter how many times you come back. Just kind of accepted it this time. Time folds back on itself. Again, his senses scream as the very impossibility of what is happening assaults them. But the Champion of Light endures. <laughs> yep, once again back at the first area, each the rest stop. He gets a little closer. Each time another detail falls into place. Now the trap works against the Herald of Darkness. All right, this is where I'm going to end part eight of Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you back in part nine, where we will begin to go through another run of these three areas, going from the rest stop to the observatory to the drive-in theater, trying to rewrite reality and trying to beat Mr. Scratch. Perhaps this time we'll be successful. See you next time. That such is life in Night Spring. <laughs> Just like. Um, dude, what? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I thought it was worth a shot. Is he going to be dancing again? I kind of hope so. <laughs> it was fun last time. Oh, who's that? And they just, whoa, they just keep coming, and yes, they still occasionally ambush me. <laughs> Shit, dude, oh my god. Right, uh, this isn't really the time to read, but eh, why not? The Doppelganger.